and we are go for the final time this season in Formula 3. Caio Collette in that Van Amersfoort racing car leads us down towards Retafilo. Paul Aron in the red and white Prima moving to the outside to see if he can get some sort of a run but he's being challenged by Johnny Edgar in that orange MP motorsport car as they all safely make their way through Retafilo it seems Zach O'Sullivan in the Williams Academy colours almost getting himself a wheel or two on the grass as Johnny Edgar, Paul Aron side by side coming round Curva Grande Paul Aron's got the best seat in the house for that battle and Johnny Edgar gets himself up in towards second and Gabriel Bortoletto round the outside of Paul Aron puts himself onto the podium, someone's off into the gravel at the top of picture I think that might be one of the Rodin Carlin drivers uh, that had gone off briefly but the rest of the field all coming through the Lesmo safely, Alex Brundle. Gorgeous move by Bortoletto down the outside of the Roger Chicane, you've got a yellow flag in sector two, we didn't see if that car returned Colapinto. and Franco Colapinto is stopped then on the way into Lesmo one and let's see what happened to Colapinto then. It looked like a bit of side-by-side -side contact. Yeah, a bit of side-by-side -side contact for uh, Colapinto. Look for him right of screen. And uh, he gets a, it's a big hip and shoulder out onto the gravel there. Paul Aron side by side with Gabriel Portoletto. Zach O'Sullivan makes it three wide. The British driver trying to get not one but two places. He's the car to the far left. Portoletto defending, going the opposite way to the corner there as he loses it completely under braking. O'Sullivan will emerge in third. Who will emerge in fourth? It will be Paul Aron. Gabriel Portoletto is going to drop down to P6, drops in behind his teammate Leo Fornaroli, Alex. Yeah, Fornaroli was stuck in the middle and he's now having a look look around the outside of Aaron as they head down to the Roger looks left no looks right no door also oh. closed car around the outside of Portoletto <laughs> and he's off in the gravel again the championship winner that was Nicholas Solov getting one down the inside of Portoletto and Portoletto being hustled what wide not once but twice here Saucy now goes past him as well Portoletto's gonna return the favor in towards oh. Lesmo two and Saucy's off into the gravel left rear puncture for Saucy caused a right front lock up there and I'm not sure where he managed to get that puncture, but uh, straight off into the gravel, still battling for the lead. Edgar versus Collet. Change of lead then. Johnny Edgar has taken that lead from Kayo Collet. This is fantastic stuff. You wouldn't believe that Johnny Edgar hasn't stood on a Formula 3 podium before, driving like someone who's been on there plenty of time. We may see an intervention from the safety car for the second day in a row. Gregoire Saucy is out the race with a left rear puncture. Real shame for him. And he's off into the barriers at Lesmo 2. We are back underway and racing in this FIA Formula 3 feature race here at Monza and we're side by side for second place. Make that side by side for the lead. Collette to the right of screen, Edgar to the left, who will emerge in the lead. Good defensive driving from Johnny Edgar. He'll hold on to his lead. However, his teammate Murray Boy has gone wide. Paul Aron to the left has gone off into the gravel. He's gonna lose some places. I think that was Sophia Flush or Gabrielli Mini going straight across the runoff at Retafilo. So a bit of a shuffle in the order. Let's jump on board with Paul Aron as we come down to the Rogers again. Unceremoniously shoved wide in the first corner Collette round the outside of Edgar for the lead of the race brilliant stuff Edgar though looking back up the inside and he looks to have made it up the inside for the first of the Lesmos great racing between the two good respectful driving as Johnny Edgar retakes that lead O'Sullivan one second in the championship can get that if he can get past Johnny uh, get past Kayo Collette uh, but Collette holding on around the outside and here we go, change for the lead coming up surely. Collette moving to the inside of Edgar, who's defenceless into the first chicane. And Barnard lunges down the inside of O'Sullivan. Side by side through Retafilo. Great racing between the pair. Great overtake once more from Taylor Barnard, who gets round the outside through the second part of the chicane. And he is up to P3 as we go through Curva Grande. On board with O'Sullivan, having to get out the throttle there, trying to not make contact with Barnard. Side by side into Roger Chicane, Barnard trying his best to defend from O'Sullivan who's forced to go wide at the second chicane the top five come through that second chicane great racing between them any one of those five could win this race Alex ah oh, it's cadet karting stuff isn't it <laughs> nose cones at dawn that's the, that's the title we've got a car off in the background someone off there a yellow flag is 
out and that is Sebastian Montoya, the Red Bull Junior uh, who is stranded and that might make a five car train uh, back into a 26-27 car train again. I think the safety car may be deployed here if Montoya can't fire that one up. He looked fairly beached in the gravel trap to me. We're back underway and racing once more. All the field now bunched together. Who's going to stand on that famous podium in this final race of the season? Collette wants to be on the top step. He charges down the outside of Johnny Edgar, who's doing his best to make that car as wide as possible. But look at Zach O'Sullivan round the outside of Kyle Collette, and he's through into second. Nicholas Solov is off into the gravel. The young Alpine Junior dropping down the order. That's going to shuffle the order in the top ten as O'Sullivan doesn't want, doesn't just want second. He wants P1 side by side with Edgar into Roger Chicane side by side, and Edgar not having any of it holds on to that race lead. O'Sullivan forced to settle back into second. It's not been a good day for the Red Bull Juniors, Pepe Marti, in what has been a very disappointing end to the season for him. Ends his race in the gravel just like he did yesterday, and Pepe Marti is out of the race. The safety car is back out. Uh, here we might see where it happened then, Alex. Yeah, so we're just having a look. Oh! oh. Yeah, so Cohen's gone off behind. Cohen's yeah. gone off in avoidance yeah. there. Um, so we, we don't see the car's kind of covered in smoke, the one that actually makes contact with Marty there. Taylor Barnard trying to look to the inside. Barnard looking to the outside. In that blue and black Jenza car through Lesmo 1. He's done it once again. That must be the third time he's gone round the outside of a driver around this circuit. Now he makes his way down to Iscari. Eyes pinned on his countryman, Zach O'Sullivan. He wants P2. Through the final corner we come. Johnny Edgar may not have won a Formula 3 race before, but he's driven like someone who has won many. Up towards the start finish line he comes. Johnny Edgar is a winner in FIA of Formula 3. It's a double win in the season finale for MP Motorsport. Zach O'Sullivan leads Prima Racing to the team's championship, and Taylor Barnard on the podium once again. Here's our final race results of 2023. Your race winner, Johnny Edgar, a superb drive from the British driver to hold on from that safety car restart on the final lap and hold off Zach O'Sullivan by just two tenths of a second. I think it's time we celebrate not only a race, but an FIA Formula 3 season. It's been another fantastic year. Another new winner in Johnny Edgar as well.